Autograph provides generators and modifiers that can be used for relative positioning. In this example, we can place a logo to the right of a text while automatically readjusting its position when the text changes, and all of this can be done without any expressions or lines of code. Let's start by focusing on the anchor point because the values we put in the position parameter apply to this particular point. When adjusting the anchor point values, we can see that the point stays in place, but the logo moves in relation to it. If we press the control or command key, we can move this anchor point while keeping the layer content in place and position it on the left with a bit of an extra margin. The layer position values determine the anchor point's position within the composition format, while the anchor point values define the distance between this point and the center of the logo. Now let's see how to place this anchor point relative to the text. First, we'll switch the position parameter from unified mode to separated mode. This allows us to work on the x value independently while leaving the y value untouched. We can set up relative positioning using a layer rect generator. The purpose of the layer rect generator is to provide information about a layer's bounding box, whether it's text or another element. It indicates four values representing the left, right, top, and bottom edges of the target layer. To better understand this concept, let's add a constant generator with a custom format defined by these four values. The first value, labeled L for left, determines the distance between the left edge of the rectangle and the layer's center. By default, this value is set to 500 pixels. Next, we have the letter B for bottom, which will be set to a value of negative 100 pixels relative to the center. The R for right will remain at 500 pixels, while the T for top will be set to 100 pixels. These four values define a format. The purpose of the layer rect generator is also to indicate a format by analyzing a layer to provide these four values. But our layer's x position is defined by only one value. The four-dimensional layer rect is not directly compatible with the x position, which consists of a single dimension. So we need to add a generator that allows us to select only one value from the four dimensions. Here we'll select a converter that converts from four dimensions to one dimension. Among the four values defined in the source, we'll only keep one, specified by its index ranging from 0 to 3. Keep in mind that in computer programming, the first element of an array is indexed as 0. Now we can click on the Generator button to add a Layer Rect Generator, which is now available on the list. By default, it'll use the layer just below it with the Layer Below option. So it analyzes the layer immediately below it in the stack to determine its left, right, top, and bottom edges. Analyzing the constant in custom mode gave us information about the dimension order. We have left, bottom, then right in the third position. Since the index of the first value is 0, the right value will have an index of 2. Remember this generator lets us go from 4 dimensions to 1 dimension. Now the logo is positioned relative to the right of the text. Since this positioning is based on the anchor point, we can modify its values to increase the space between the logo and the text. Once this positioning constraint is set up, we can change the text content to see the logo automatically reposition itself based on these changes. This constraint only affects the logo's positioning on the x-axis, so it's entirely possible to change its other transform parameters, like its size, which will be based on the anchor point's position. All transformations applied to the text will also be taken into account when it's analyzed by the layer rect generator. So we can change its size, position, rotation, and even make skew adjustments. The logo's positioning will be dynamically recalculated, all without having to use any expressions.